What are all the things that you would do to grow your business if you knew that your content was already handled? You could focus more on networking, on collaborations, creating paid ads, you could shift your focus onto personal outreach, or creating an optimized and scalable new sales system, or any other number of things. It's a myth that you always need a new piece of content. And in this video, I'm giving you a complete guide to a year of repurposing. Just start dreaming up everything you're gonna do with all that extra time. Welcome back to Your Content Empire, the YouTube channel dedicated to helping you get more consistent and profitable with content the easy way. I'm your host, Haley Dale, a content and sales funnel strategist obsessed with bringing you all the latest and greatest in content and marketing. If the idea of going a whole year without creating new content makes you a little nervous, I have been in your shoes. In 2020, my coach issued me a challenge, no new content for an entire year. I was terrified to stick to it because in the back of my mind, I thought if I didn't create new content, my business would slowly wither away. In reality, the fear was completely unwarranted. My business still grew that year and it actually grew even more than previous years because of where I was able to shift my focus. Here's the thing. You shouldn't always have something new to say, nor do you deserve to feel the constant pressure of doing so. People need to watch, wa listen, read to an idea more than once for it to be helpful. Sometimes they need to hear the same message a dozen times before it actually sticks and gets through. If you want to do more with the content you already have or fully leverage any piece of content you do create by turning it into as many different pieces as possible, you are in the right place. In this video, you're going to learn all about my annual repurposing strategy and action plan. Now, first, before we get started, what is the annual repurposing strategy? Well, it's a planning method to cover your content calendar for an entire year using content you already have by republishing it, repackaging it, or repromoting it. Here are the three main ways to repurpose your core content. The first way is to reshare an existing post. It really is that simple. So take a great piece of content you already have, like a blog post or a video or a podcast, and promote it like you would as if it were new again. The second way is to upgrade and publish an existing post. Just because you're not creating a fresh piece of content doesn't mean you can't upgrade and update the content you already have. So find a post that could use a little finessing or retweaking and work your magic on it, then republish it. The third way is to repackage other pieces of content into a blog post or a video or a podcast. So there are so many types of content that can be transformed into, rel into a blog post or a video relatively easily. So you can consider like creating a blog post from a transcript for a podcast interview you did or a live video or pair together a few like juicy social media posts that can be combined to create one epic post. The benefits of content repurposing for 2023 is if you're going to step back from creating fresh content, you want to know it's going to be worth it. So there are more benefits to content repurposing than you may have realized or considered, which are more time. You're not going to be tied down with creating a you know, content every single week, which means you're going to have more time to spend in other aspects and areas of your business. Or you could spend this extra time away from your business too, to focus on other important areas of your life, more consistency. So when you repurpose your content in an intentional way, you can become rain or shine consistent. My friend, you can actually prep and schedule your content way, way ahead of time, which means you're showing up consistently. And what does consistency bring more visibility, momentum, growth, and sales, more intention. When you feel the pressure to create new content all the time, you may find yourself slapping something together just to have something to publish by taking a fly by the seat of your pants approach to creating content. This doesn't usually result in the best end results. When you step away from publishing from scratch, you can spend even more time in the planning and strategy department, crafting a really, really intentional journey with your content that leads to your offers more more growth. So when you have a content repurposing strategy, you get so, so much more time to focus on growing your audience while still keeping them nurtured and engaged. Then you can turn around and spend your time collaborating, mastering paid ads, creating new offers, soaring on social, launching, etc. 
better content. So what's really great about repurposing your content is that it also gives you an opportunity to give your content a sometimes much needed upgrade. So maybe you have something that you can make a little bit more robust, or maybe you have, you know, um, updated information to add in. This maintains the integrity of your content and ensures that you have that even your earlier pieces are something that you can be proud of. Next up is how to set up your content repurposing strategy. When it comes to this kind of strategy, the last thing you want to do is just approach it with a just wing it attitude. Part of the magic of the strategy comes from the planning behind it. So let's start planning. Step number one, I want you to create a content bank. So a content bank is a place where you organize all one of your most valuable business assets, your content. That's why I call this your content empire. This ensures that you know where all of the assets you have are, and you know what all those things are and have a high level view of them so that you can get down to repurposing. You can create a content bank in Asana, Notion, Trello, but I actually recommend just starting with a spreadsheet. You can grab my template um, and system down below in the description. Here are some general steps on how to create a content bank. Start off by creating a new board or opening it up a new spreadsheet or wherever you're going to host it. Just start something new and call it content bank or whatever you want to call it. Then you're going to create separate columns or tabs for types of content that you want to store there. So it might be blog posts, videos, podcasts, freebies, webinars, courses, email sequence, social media posts for those really epic posts or responses that you like to pull from in the future. If you're using a spreadsheet, then you're going to create the different columns in each of those tabs for the different types of information you want to store about each piece of content. These might be things like URL, category, topic, um, you you know, the URL to the folder where you store all the documents, etc. If you want a deeper dive into creating a content bank, like I mentioned, grab my training and template down below in the description. Then step number two is it's time to choose a theme for each month of the year. So each month, coming up for your annual year of repurposing, think about the theme to center your content strategy around. You'll want to decide on what offer you want to be promoting, and then you can dig up the content you already have to support it. So here are your steps for designing your monthly repurposing content plan. So first off is for each month, think about what's happening in your personal and business life so that way you can plan around it. Then for each of those months, also decide what offer you want to focus on promoting and selling. Then for each offer, you need to find the existing content you have that relates to that theme or that topic. You can get creative here, right? You don't have to only focus on finished blog posts that you can reuse. Consider also videos, interviews, lives that can be repackaged and repurposed as well. Next, once you have that monthly plan, you're going to take it to the whole year, right? So next, let's map out the rest of your year and what content and offers you'll be sharing each month. So first, figure out how many posts you're going to need to cover yourself for the year. If you're publishing weekly, you're going to need 52 posts. If you're publishing bi-weekly, you'll need only 26 posts. So figure out how many you need, and then you can start mapping it out from there. And just a reminder here, you can share something two or three times within the same year too. So you don't always need new content for repurposing as well. So step number three, once you have that plan, is you're actually going to get down to prepping your content. So prep your content one month at a time by building out a detailed editorial calendar to show what's happening on each of your channels. Pull together all of your source material for each blog post or core post that you're going to be putting out if it's not a blog, the content of that post, what you're reworking into a blog post, as well as any emails or social or images that you've created as well. Finally, finalize the blog post so it's ready to go or the video or the podcast, then create your supporting content. So your images, your email copy, your social media and content for the week or bi-weekly period, and then schedule it. So just a note here, you may not want to schedule the entire year out, even if you have it, right? So you might only schedule kind of like two or three weeks ahead of time. You don't want to be in a situation where something horrible happens in the world as the recent past has shown us and have to like quickly backpedal and get everything unscheduled. So you might want to be a little more real time with the scheduling, even though you're all prepped ahead of time, which is going to make scheduling or delegating scheduling much, much easier. So are you ready to say yes to a year of repurposing? If you want more consistency, intentionality, and growth in your business, try shopping your old content before creating anything new. The best part is that a content repurposing strategy helps you create 
even better content to provide to your audience. Start by creating a content bank, then jump into planning for each month. Then you're ready to prep and organize your content and finally schedule it so you can let your repurposed content roll and sit back and watch it. So want help building out your content plans for 2023? Make sure to grab the 2023 Content Empire Planning Bundle for our annual planner, the repurposing workshop, and more. So grab your copy in the description. And now let me know in the comments what are you going to do with all your extra time not spent on content creation next year? And with that, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to be the first to know when a new video goes live, hint, it's usually Mondays, ring the bell. And until next time, here's to your content empire.